All right, Shalom, Brother Rock coming to you with another video. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. A double Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity regardless of whom here or forbears, all right? The videos that we do are only for the hopeful elect, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and confusion of faces. Now, the title of this video is called Spirits That Are Created for Vengeance, okay? Spirits That Are Created for Vengeance. Now, just to name a few spirits that are created for vengeance in the past, okay, you got uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, Albert Fish, Jack the Ripper, okay, you've got Timothy McVeigh, Ted Bundy, all right, and speaking of Ted Bundy, that's the picture you see depicted on the video, okay, just a little bit about Ted Bundy, Ted Bundy, known as Theodore Bundy, was an American serial killer, who kidnapped, raped, and murdered numerous young women and girls during the 1970s and possibly earlier. After more than a decade of denials before his execution in 1986, he confessed to 30 homicides that he committed in seven states between 1974 and 1978. The true number of victims is unknown and possibly higher. All right. And these are all spirits created for vengeance. You look at this man and he looks like he's an uh, average guy, right? All right, but he had was known to, for killing multiple, numerous amount of women, man. Some unknown, but were put to death, okay? So Rock chapter 39, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Okay, and when you read Hebrews, the 12th chapter, it tells you who the Father of Spirits is. That's Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. Okay, these spirits are created for vengeance, for payback, for death, for destruction. All right? It reads on, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. and the time of destruction, they pour out their force. Okay? And in the time of destruction, it's all controlled by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, the Lord, when the Lord wants to bring forth destruction and he wants to uh, use evil spirits to do so, he bring forth destruction using evil spirits. Case in point. Okay, Ted Bundy. All right. It says, and appease the wrath of him that made them. So it appeases, it pleases the Heavenly Father to bring forth the wrath using evil spirits, man. Using these serial killers. Okay. When you read about Timothy McVeigh, the, the, the bomber, the Oklahoma um, bomber, okay, he killed many people um, and brought forth destruction by bombing a building. Okay, that's the Heavenly Father. He's pleasing the Heavenly Father by doing the work that the Lord orchestrated. Okay, now the scriptures tell you that, okay, um, the issues of death belong to him. Okay, and, and you know, this is a, a cut to all these false prophets telling you that the Lord is all love, okay, when the scriptures tell you that the spirits are created for vengeance, the Lord is bringing death and destruction, okay, the book of Psalm chapter 68, verse 20, it says, he that is our power is the power of salvation, who's the power of salvation, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that's why people ignorantly call God and Jesus, okay, he is the power of salvation. It's the only way that the elect of the nation of Israel is going to receive salvation and get beamed up in those chariots. Okay? But let's read on. And unto Yahweh, who is the Heavenly Father, the Lord belong the issues from death. So all of these, these victims that are being put to death by these evil spirits is, is what the Lord is issuing. Because the Lord controls death, life and death, right? You know, and, and 
They wrote many books about Ted Bundy, did a movie about this man, not realizing that it's coming from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? How do we know? Because thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible. All right? And let's further prove that. First Samuel. See, these are things that's coming to America, man. It's coming to America. It's come soon, man. Even more on a higher level. Okay? You thoughts and you whores out there want to be out there wearing, um, um, you know, short skirts showing your ass. All right? These are the same spirits that's going to be created for vengeance. You think you are hanging around an innocent, average guy, not realizing that the Lord has put on a spirit for him to take your soul, man, or take your body, Salakia, to put you to death, you know? 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6, it reads, The Lord killeth and maketh alive. So you mean to tell me the Lord is doing all the killing? And he's making the ones that he wants to keep alive, alive? Okay, but no, I thought the false prophets, these, these uh, so-called pastors are telling you that the Lord is all love. 1 Samuel 2 and 6 says, The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. So the Lord is the one killing and making alive. Okay, the Lord is issuing death left and right, man. Okay, and that's why you're, you're seeing, you know, that, that we are in evil times, man. Jake is getting shot down in these streets. Okay, these these wicked uh, these these uh, wicked officers, all right, are getting the green light to take your life, man. All right, and you two thirds, man. Hey, and and these are spirits created for vengeance from the Lord, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We just read that in Sirach, the thirty ninth chapter. Okay, that's why the scriptures say what uh, Hebrews chapter ten, verse thirty one. It says. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Why? Because the Lord will send the evil spirit to take you out. Okay? For vengeance. Okay? And, and, and the scripture also says that, look, no one perish being innocent, man. You know? No one perish being innocent. Let me get, let me get that in Job and I'm going to jump back. Job chapter 4 verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent. Okay? You know, that's why it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of living power. All right. Because we're supposed to uh, serve our power with fear and trembling. OK, because, look, we're all worthy of death because we all come short of the glory. You know, I'm speaking to you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. And, and knowing that the Lord is, is doing all the killing, you know, it would it would only uh, make sense. Beyond imagination that we should be getting right, man, with the how about Shemiah was shy. All right. Job chapter four, verse seven. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent. So you whores out there, you 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 so-called women. OK, because women means a uh, means servant, male servant, man. All right. But you women aren't aren't, aren't servants. You out there all the time of the night being whores and thoughts. OK. And you want uh, sympathy when the next when, 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 when you get uh, done so quote unquote violated man okay when you're supposed to be what at home at a certain hour man okay so you're not innocent when the lord sends evil spirit to take you out man it says or where were the righteous cut off so look the righteous wasn't it's not going to be cut off the righteous is not going to be left confounded man okay and ashamed because uh, look, the Lord's going to take care of the righteous, the ones that are seeking his ways, you know, keeping the statute laws and commandments to the best of their ability and having faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Another precept I want to bring out because, the, the, look, we in evil times, man. It's getting ready to turn up even more, man. Okay. And you're going to see a lot of Ted Bundy's floating around here, man. A lot of uh, Son of Sam's floating around here. Okay. You're going to hear about a lot of people dying come soon, man. Even Even more than... Then what's going on now? All right, because we're in the last days. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he. And there is no power with me. Okay, and this is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, it says, I kill and I make alive. All right, that's Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. The Lord says, I kill and I make alive. It says, I wound and I heal. 
neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Okay, and so you got, you know, the one thing that the women of our nations don't realize that, the women of our nation don't realize that these officers, these paramedics, these um, doctors, these lawyers, or whoever, whatever protection you got in America is not going to save you when the Lord brings forth evil spirits. Okay? Because when the Lord sends forth evil spirits, there's no one that can deliver you out of the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? These spirits are created for, for vengeance. And it's not just for women, right? It's for the men as well, man. Okay? Whether you get caught up in a, uh, a, a crossfire, gunfire, okay? Whether you get hit by a bus, okay? Whether you get stabbed to death, all right, by a random person, man, out on the streets, man. These are these are the things that 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 they're coming forth even more, man. More evil spirits are gonna be lurking come soon, man. Okay. I'm gonna bring out a few more presets on the close out. Okay, because people think seem to think the Lord's is all about love, man. When there's a perfect balance. Okay, Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Okay? See, the Lord is, 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 is doing all these things, man. He's forming the light, creating the darkness, all right, making peace and creating, and, and creating evil. And what? We're in evil times, right? We are in evil times as we speak. So, look, that, that's a cut to all these false prophets saying that the Lord is all love. When the Lord ain't all love, man. All right, there's a perfect balance with the Lord. And then soon come, you're going to see more son of Sam's. You're going to be seeing more evil spirits lurking around. Okay? All right, more evil spirits going to be lurking, lurking come soon, you know? So with that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Double shalom taught Akimah there pushing the truth and truth in sincerity regardless of whom here or forbears. Shalom.